most of St. Leo's students are active duty or retired military people. Because the 1,600 or so Tidewater students are spread among Fort Eustis, Langley Air Force Base, and the Little Creek Amphibious Base, the state wanted St. Leo's to hire nine more full-time faculty members. Leonard Friedman says St. Leo's has done better than that. They have also hired one extra, in other words, an additional full-time faculty member. So we have exceeded now the state's requirements. St. Leo's was also told to arrange for adequate library services for its students, and that's just what it did with the help of Hampton Institute. We have entered into a contract in the Tidewater Area Center with Hampton Institute for, for a fee, and we will issue library cards to our students, and they will have full-time use of the Hampton Institute Library. The cost of that library agreement and those 10 full-time faculty members will be reflected in tuition, but probably not until after the first of the year. St. Leo's is only one of several colleges in the area conducting classes on military installations. And education officials say we can expect to see many more colleges entering the military market in the years to come. The reason? The children of the post-World War II baby boom are now in their mid-20s and 30s. And colleges will have to schedule more classes around full-time jobs and families. At Langley Air Force Base, Kathy Mitkiff, The Daily News.